landscapes is a, um, a way of uh, looking at the world um, that has received a lot of attention quite recently. It's actually a very old uh, concept that has driven um, the way we investigate uh, environments for, for, for many years. I recall having started work on landscape approaches to sustainable agriculture back about 1991 about 20 years ago, 20, more than 20, 20 years ago. So it's not a new concept, and it has evolved from an earlier tradition, which is um, the management of watersheds, or the management of catchments. And that's where landscape approaches uh, really do um, uh, reach a concrete understanding, because everybody knows they live within a, um, a larger area than just their own town, their own village, their own farm, and those larger areas are landscapes. Now landscape approaches are um, ways in which we formulate our, um, our questions, our challenges from the perspective of what's going on across the entire area. That's the landscape. And landscapes by their very nature are usually diverse. They usually contain various different actors, various different types of settlement, various types of agriculture and forestry, and they are all blending together in a mosaic in a given area, that is the landscape. Now, um, landscape approaches then is our way of actually building the common understanding that is so important to be able to actually solve the problems that cannot be solved by any one actor, any one farm, any one enterprise, any one business in that area. But um, by realizing that these kinds of problems are problems that must be dealt with by competing, often very different actors, um, we need common frameworks for that, common systems of negotiating problems and solving them. And um, this, this has evolved over a long history of working with watersheds, working with catchments, working with river basins, um, and it goes all the way back to the, um, the rich history of the, uh, of the soil conservation uh, movement back uh, in the um, early part of the last century. So our current understanding is certainly nothing new, but it is very uh, fortunate that um, uh, more and more different people are now um, capturing the importance of taking a landscape approach to complex problems. And when we deal with climate change, of course, um, this is the kind of, um, of, 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 of scope that we need to use in order to deal with these problems, because these are problems that affect everyone across not only landscapes, but the entire globe. And so uh, landscape approaches is an intermediate stage of attacking these problems in a community way. Uh, it is uh, really quite uh, challenging to, uh, to use a landscape approach to, to, to address um, these kind of um, quite big problems, um, wicked problems. Um, and so in fact, yes, we need um, uh, good examples of how investment in that type of problem solving has made a difference. Um, I think of a couple of examples when, when I look to you know, how such an approach can make a difference. One is um, the, uh, the importance that we have found in terms of um, giving communities a voice vis-a-vis -vis, um, their uh, national governments in, um, in, in managing the watershed resources. Uh, communities that live in watersheds uh, that are affected by uh, mismanagement of the land in those watersheds uh, being involved in negotiating solutions to their problems with government agencies that often aren't very responsive. And um, when I was in Indonesia, we worked for quite a number of years to develop what we called a negotiation support system to actually build a, um, a dialogue between the communities living in the watersheds in the island of Sumatra 
and the national government institutions that were managing the land, particularly the, the, uh, the forestry uh, institute or forestry department. And um, the people on the ground um, were never given a voice in managing uh, forest resources, but they were the people who actually were there. They were affected by decisions made by the national government. And without having a dialogue between them, it was clear that there was no way of actually creating a better environment in, the, in, the, in these watersheds because there was no way that the, um, the communities were in a position to follow the forestry regulations um, and there was no, there was no um, um, way in which the forestry department could actually um, dialogue with the communities to solve the problems together. Uh, so this negotiation support system which has now been institutionalized in Indonesia across the country has made uh, a huge difference from the initial, um, the initial tests that we did back in southern Sumatra uh, in the late 1990s. And so we've seen that watershed approach, landscape approach, uh, evolve into a, 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 an accepted way in which um, communities and government could negotiate uh, the management of uh, uh, resources in watersheds.